Hi, I'm Dan Herbert and I'm a course developer and tutor at Point Blank Online. I've been working for over 20 years as a musician, sound designer and programmer. I released tracks in the mid-90s on Ouch, Tasty and Storm and have also worked in TV and film. In this series of tutorials, we're going to be checking out the Max for Life plugins which we've been developing here at Point Blank. These are available for you guys to download for free. Make sure you subscribe to the Point Blank YouTube channel and also check out our free sample courses at pointblankonline.net. We're going to take a look at the new Max for Live plugin exclusively available from Point Blank Online. This device replicates the classic reverse reverb technique created in studios by literally turning the tape upside down on an analog multi-track machine by switching the tape reels so the tape plays backwards. Reverb or delay is then added and recorded onto a spare couple of tracks and then the tape flipped over again so it plays the correct way. But now that reverb, which had been recorded after the reverse sound, is now heard before. And it creates this kind of reverse reverb effect, which leads into the sound that it was affecting. So let's check it out and see how we can use this device. So the first thing you're going to need to do is download it from the uh, website and then unzip the file. And then what we need to do is to find the library folder within your user directory, application support, Ableton and then let's expand this out a bit and I'm looking for the presets folder within the library and then I'm going to put it into the max audio effect folder and then drag the plugin directly into the max audio effect folder you can also load it directly from your browser uh, it's really up to you but now here is the point blank reverse reverb device and I'm going to drop it onto track one and that loads up so we've got here a vocal and I've already added a little bit of reverb to this vocal Life. what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first part of that vocal hold down the alt key here and drag and drop it onto the track so how this plugin works is it will take eight bars to do all the processing and line up the audio okay so if your vocal starts at bar nine drop the initial part of that vocal onto the reverse reverb track at bar one okay if it starts at bar 17 then drop it at bar nine you get the idea okay and now what we can do is basically come down here i'm just going to click on arm straight away without changing any of the settings and i'm going to press play and what this does is it feeds the audio into the reverse reverb plugin it then reverses it puts it through some reverb and then reverses the result again. It should now start, here it comes. Life. Okay, and that has created our reverse reverb effect. You can actually recreate this without using the plugin, but it's a kind of process of reversing things, putting on reverb, bouncing it down or flattening it, and then reversing it again. So this plugin basically speeds up that process. We can also preview the reverb and tweak the settings by clicking on the preview button down here. Let's just jump back here and adjust the reverb time which is kind of related to the size as well as the damping so if you want to lose the high frequencies quicker. Okay so remember when this gets reversed essentially if we pull the damping down then the sound will start off much darker much duller and then get brighter through the actual reverse okay so you can tweak these settings if you're happy with those take off preview and then click on arm and uh, press play what we can also do is use a reverse delay or any combinations of reverb into delay and also delay into reverb here it comes Now the way I suggest you use this is don't run it live, but actually flatten and freeze the track. So I'm just going to hold down control, come down to freeze track. And once we've done that, then flatten the track as well. And so you've now got your reverb tail here. Life. 
And if you want to, you can then tidy up this end part, perhaps make use of fades uh, if you don't want it to overlay with the original vocal. Let's just undo that now and get back to where we were originally. So if I want to check out delays, I'm going to choose delay. Let's click on previews just so we can listen to it. So your delay is fairly standard. You can select your delay length just by clicking from this menu here. Or if you want to type in the exact uh, value in milliseconds, then you can do that using these number boxes here. We've also got feedback controls to the left and right. And here we've also got a filter. Depending on the effect you are after. And works in exactly the same way. So if we click on arm, press play, it will then play through and we'll reverse the delay in a minute. If you want to have a longer reverse reverb or delay effect, then we can choose a 16 bar as well. Here we go. So that's just a straight reverse delay. We can also have different combinations of reverbs going into delays or delays going into reverbs. And we've also got this additional parameter here to basically let the delay bleed through. It's like a bit like a wet dry balance here. So that will give you more definition of the delay. So let's try this out. I'm just going to increase the feedback a bit so we get a much longer effect. Okay, and if we're happy with that, and as it's a slightly longer effect, you might want to opt for 16 bar. Okay, and this will take 16 bars to come through. So in terms of where we'd actually position our vocal, we'd position it at bar 17, which is 16 bars later. Uh, what I'll do is I shall arm the track and then speed up the video so we don't have to sit here for 16 bars. Now started to come in. So we now have a much longer reverse reverb effect where we're actually combining delay and reverb at the same time. So again, what I'd recommend is if you freeze the track, and then flatten it. And if you need to, then you can use fades just to tidy up the uh, area where it kind of overlaps with the original vocal. So that is the Point Blank Reverse Reverb device, and it's freely downloadable from our website, pointblankonline.net, along with the other plugins we've been developing for this series. And we also cover techniques similar to this on the Mixing for Dance Music Ableton course, and more information can be found on our website. At Point Blank Online, you've got two methods of interaction with your tutor. Firstly, you've got the weekly online masterclass, which is in real time. And then also we've got feedback on your assignments, and that's known as DVR. So the online masterclass is a one hour session you get with your tutor every week. You can ask questions about the lesson content and get instant feedback and also demonstrations on the fly from their computer desktop with our streaming technology. DVR stands for Direct Video Response and the concept is really simple. You upload your Ableton Logic or Cubase project file to your tutor, he downloads it and then pushes record on the screen capturing software and evaluates your work, so basically giving you one-to-one -one feedback. You see all of the mouse movements and any parameter changes made by your tutor. It's kind of like sitting in the studio over their shoulder watching what they're doing whilst they work. We have found the DVR process has truly revolutionized the way that we teach online and the results speak for themselves. Book your place on a course now by visiting pointblankonline.net.